Philippines, good evening. Naimbang karabi, masanto isa sa labid. Si kayo amin, Maya Pabengi Keka. Parahay na banggi sa inyong gubos. Maupay nga gabi ha iyo nga uh, tanan dida. Uh, Mayad-mayad nga gabi. Maradyaw na doyom sa iyo hurut. Buenas noches. Bismillah rahman irahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala barakatuh. Maayong mayong gabi sa Tibuk Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, up to Sabah. Um, ito po si Eric Espina at ito ang inyong republika. Well, tonight we're going to be talking to uh, one of the pillars of the House of Representatives, uh, our very own, uh, the, the the pride of uh, one of the pride of uh, Cebu. Uh, he will be. Uh, we will be revisiting for tonight uh, the issue on uh, ABS-CBN. Um, it's in the back burner, but uh, it's somehow still festering in the minds of uh, some sectors of our society, and then including the anti-terror bill. And um, uh, other issues such as the revolutionary government and the and the other bills which uh, uh, pending in Congress, which are most interesting. Uh, so we're very fortunate to have uh, uh, the deputy speaker uh, for the third district of uh, Cebu, none other than Pablo John Garcia. Good evening, sir. Hi. Good evening, Eric, uh, and good evening to uh, your. Uh Millions no? oh. of viewers uh, uh, around the Philippines and, and uh, through the web uh, around around the world no? mm. uh, as a republican. Mm. Thanks for having me. Ah, my, our pleasure, our pleasure. Uh, my first question to you, uh, Congressman, is of course, no. Um, how is uh, uh, Manong <laughs> Pablo Garcia? I mean, uh, you know, uh, amidst COVID and all this, how's the family taking care of him? How is his mental health? Uh, you know, uh, as as children of uh, Cebu Province, we'd like to know how is the good governor and former deputy speaker. Well, uh, well, I'm happy to 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 report to you, Eric, and and to the Cebuanos, especially that Pero uh, mm -hmm. no? uh, my my daddy is uh, in in good health, mm -hmm. uh, um, and uh, he is 93 years old. Mm -hmm. Uh, a little uh, weak, uh, um, not as not as uh, agile as before, mm -hmm. but uh, mentally uh, <laughs> he, he still has. Uh, uh, you know, I you 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 talk to him a lot of yes. times, uh, and your father uh -huh. is, a, is a dear friend. Uh -huh. uh, um, uh, his his mind is as sharp, is still as sharp as as it was uh, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when you last talked to each other. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Kay Kwan, usa sa akong mga nahuna-hunaan lagi nga, you know, maybe they should consider, Kwan, our parents, our lolo, our lola, uh, amidst COVID, that maybe part of their mental health, maybe we can try to experiment masking once a month or twice a month. The senior citizens can go out, uh, outside the residence, uh, yes. when it is most uh, locked down and the, uh, the, the commuter traffic is basically still at home. And let's give this to the senior citizens for their mental health. Kay, you know, at that age, they, you know, they, you, know ma, you, you can't really avoid it. They become very sensitive. And then, kita magaling mga batano, nasbalay, makuanta, malainta. How much more for our lolo, our lola, and our yes. parents, no? I agree. I totally agree. <laughs> no? uh, uh, you know, uh, we may be keeping them safe from COVID, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, loneliness is, is also, uh, uh, also a... a a, a disease, mm -hmm. no? uh, actually, and, and, and it's one of the uh, causes of uh, mental health uh, problems. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I totally agree with you, Eric. I hope that somebody is listening. At least okay, once a month, twice a month, every Sunday, lang yun, ha? Yeah. when there are fewer people, they can yes. go out and go on. As long as na sila kuyog, at least one household pass ba? Because uh, I've seen many of them. So lagi ko. Some just, you would not believe it, Congressman. Na ako na ilhan nga medyo. Now what Allah gana mabuhi? He just he just passed away uh, in his bed wow. in his bed because he could not go out. He was always inside his room. So it, it's a very sad uh, commentary on depression. Uh, correct, correct, correct. Oh, good. Yeah. So, can I, Congressman, we'll just go through some of the issues that are in the back burners. Uh, I think you're very much aware of it. Uh, first, we'll talk about uh, ABS-CBN. How, how did you, just to recollect, how did you vote on that issue? And then what were the conscience points that brought you to that decision? Well, uh, so, as some of you may know, uh, I, was, I was the uh, head of the technical working group mm -hmm. uh, for the Committee on Legislative Franchises. Mm -hmm. 
which uh, prepared the report on on uh, the issues raised against ABS-CBN mm-hmm. and uh, our findings no, as a committee mm-hmm. on legislative uh, franchises. Mm-hmm. So I was uh, head of the technical working group which recommended the non-renewal mm-hmm. no, or, the, or the, uh, the denial of the grant of a new franchise mm-hmm. to ABS-CBN. Uh, there were a lot of issues uh, raised. No? But first, uh, Eric, I think uh, for the benefit of, of your viewers mm-hmm. no, who have heard a lot of things uh, you know, uh, being said for or against the issue, uh, let us remember that uh, what is the nature of a franchise? No? Uh, uh, it is. It is because the way the partisans no, of of uh, ABS-CBN are are making it appear. Mm-hmm, no? mm-hmm. Uh, uh, it would seem that they are arguing that uh, they they are entitled to a grant of a new franchise or a new one as a matter of right. Mm-hmm, no? mm-hmm. They're saying, you know, we we have a lot of employees. No, uh, a lot of people depend on their uh, employment and livelihood on on us. Mm-hmm. So we should be granted a franchise, mm-hmm. but uh, sadly, under our constitution and under our system of laws, a franchise is not is not a a, uh, a right. Mm-hmm. No? It is a mere privilege, mm-hmm. which is granted under very exceptional circumstances, no, to those who are worthy of the of the privilege. Mm-hmm. No? Mm-hmm. So, uh, first, first things first. Let us uh, uh, make that clear. A franchise is not granted as a matter of right. Mm-hmm. You know, no matter how many years you've been enjoying that franchise, you know, and it is a matter of privilege. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, one of the uh, issues uh, that really, uh, for me, uh, uh, was a cause for for my uh, voting against the grant of the franchise, as a matter of conscience, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is the the fact, no, the 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 well-documented fact that ABS-CBN did not pay the the right amount of taxes mm-hmm. no, to to the government no, through a series of, of schemes, no? mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, shell corporations yes. in in uh, in foreign countries that are uh, tax havens, mm-hmm. well-known tax havens, no? uh, using uh, tax exempt uh, status of uh, PESA, mm-hmm. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, forming a corporation yes, yes. and claiming uh, tax exempt status under PESA, even if uh, majority or the uh, practically its only uh, uh, customer was ABS-CBN, no? and even the fact uh, you know uh, the uh, comparison was made uh, of the tax payments made by GMA Seven, mm, yes, yes, which is a smaller network, yes. which is which is admittedly a smaller network uh, over a period of five years, and ABS-CBN, a uh, grabby good, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, ang ang diferencia sa uh, well, while, whereas uh, GMA, for instance, uh, over a period of five years since 2016, I think, paid uh, around 3.5 billion pesos in taxes. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, ABS-CBN paid uh, a mere, uh, uh, a little over a billion, I think, no? over the same period of time. Mm-hmm. Even if it is bigger, a bigger network, and had sales, uh, more sales than uh, GMA-7. So, why why is this crucial in, in the vote to deny the franchise? Because, as I said, you know, a franchise is a privilege. Mm-hmm. You know? It's granted to you. Very exceptional uh, an extraordinary privilege granted to you by the state. Uh-huh. You cannot give back to the state uh, in the form of taxes uh, what the, uh, the privilege uh, that, that the state has given to you. More than any other citizen uh, or corporate citizen, those who are granted a franchise should pay the right amount of taxes to the government. Mm-hmm. You know, even, even our viewers who are uh, Ordinary taxpayers mm-hmm. no, are expected to pay the right amount of taxes. Di pa, di pa madawat ang swildo, withhold na magani ang taxes. Same with their employees. And then, <laughs> Same yes, with their yeah. employees. Oh, yeah. Uh, unya, sila noon nga who are because they were granted a, a special privilege by the state to ex- uh, to to operate a franchise. 
sila na hinoon uh, nga dako kay kita because of this franchise mangita na nog paagi nga uh, dili mapabayad sa saktong buhis mm -hmm. nato sa atong estado mm -hmm. i think that was one of the of the uh, for me uh, the, the biggest reasons no? uh, the most crucial uh, reasons why uh, abs cbn should not be granted a new franchise. Mm -hmm. There were also a lot uh, other other issues, no, which are equally important. Mm -hmm. no? uh, for example, its uh, its uh, history and its record as an employer, mm -hmm. no? uh, and its uh, uh, in uh, its record under uh, our labor laws, no, it, uh, compliance with labor laws. No? Uh, there is the issue of uh, uh, the non-regularization of uh, a lot of contract on mm -hmm, employees, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, some of whom uh, have been uh, working for for the corporation, no? uh, for some for even 20 years, mm -hmm, no? mm -hmm. who remained contractual employees and not regular employees. Uh, despite several uh, Supreme Court decisions uh, that these uh, employees were uh, were uh, performing regular at uh, the job or uh, functions duties of a regular employee no wala gyud nila gi recognize as as um, as uh, uh, regular employees mm -hmm. so uh, as again mm -hmm. if you are a corporation that is granted a special privilege you should you should uh, uh, also uh, give back to the employees mm -hmm. no? Uh, by 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 respecting their security of tenure and giving them uh, the right uh, to be regularized. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, th it, there were a lot of uh, uh, reasons uh, for your voting uh, this way. Um, in in your in your uh, legislative hearings, um, uh, did it seem like when you conducted the legislative hearings, this was already how would I call it? undue advantage <laughs> there seemed to be special treatment for ABS-CBN because you know um, it seems uh, a media giant such as ABS-CBN uh, could probably use uh, the logic of emotion in order to overpower uh, uh, the, the, the statement or the, the laws that we have passed in this country uh, would that be a fair statement that there seemed to have been an appeal to emotion in order to direct uh, fault away from ABS or its administrators and give it on the and put it on the lap of Congress. Yes, uh, in fact, you know, uh, first of all, uh, we conducted all, all around a dozen hearings uh -huh. no, uh, on the issue. Uh -huh. no? This is unprecedented. Correct, correct. Uh, really unprecedented. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then we were getting a lot of flack. Uh -huh. Why are you holding these hearings in the middle of a pandemic? Yes, yes. No? So Congress was was uh, was uh, getting a lot of flack for that, but you know this was because also of the pressure. Mm -hmm. Because when uh, before we conducted these hearings and when uh, these uh, bills for the extension of the franchise or the grant of a renewal franchise were still at the committee level and not moving because precisely of the other uh, more urgent uh -huh. uh, uh, legislative uh, 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 measures we had on our calendar. Uh -huh. There was also pressure from ABS-CBN uh, through their network mm -hmm. and their partisans, no, uh, all over social media, as uh, giving flack to 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 Congress and saying, "Why are you not moving on these bills?" Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, so, you know, you're you're you wala kay mabuhat na sakto, yes, no? yes. You, you know, uh, you can't do anything yes. right if you. Focus on uh, the bills that are crucial mm -hmm. uh, in this pandemic. Uh, ABS-CBN will say, "Why are you sitting on, on our, our, bill. our yes, bills yes, no, yes, for renewal?" Yes. And now that uh, uh, we conducted almost a dozen hearings, people were saying, even their own partisans say, "Why are you focusing on ABS-CBN yes. in this pandemic?" Yes. So, uh, you know, uh, they had a distinct advantage also because. They are a media giant. Mm -hmm. no? They are the media giant mm -hmm. in in the Philippines, no? mm -hmm. and they have uh, a lot of uh, you know uh, uh, 
uh, influencers mm-hmm. no? in their payroll mm-hmm. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, through their uh, uh, commentators mm-hmm. and uh, especially ilang mga artista no nga uh, you know once the artistas their artistas mm-hmm. uh, start speaking no sometimes people forget about uh, reason and logic and 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 what the real issues mm-hmm. are uh, they're influencers so yeah. people are influenced by what what uh, they're saying you you use the term unprecedented uh, and yet congress gave them uh, a day you know uh, their day in court but uh, when you use the word unprecedented in the normal course of franchise hearings for media for radio uh, this has never happened that's what you're saying <laughs> okay what again night about yes that what what again night about that this has never happened before you know from uh you know uh recent history lang, mm-hmm. at least mm-hmm. no this has never happened before no but this was this happened precisely because uh congress was also under pressure to show the people that they're moving no and they're giving giving abscbn a fair hearing mm-hmm. no? because they uh uh before we conducted the hearings they were saying oh they're sitting on our our mm-hmm. bills and we are not getting our fair mm-hmm. hearing uh, uh, a fair hearing so uh yes it is unprecedented uh, uh kay grabe naman ko kay eric you know mm-hmm. you've seen that yeah, yeah. you know they they were already conflating no the 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 business interests of abscbn with press freedom uh-huh. no? yes. as if as if as if uh, press freedom would die mm-hmm. if if the legislative franchise of ABS-CBN uh, were not uh, granted mm-hmm. no? so uh, uh, we had to show that you know we are not of course we are here to protect uh, press freedom but let us see whether uh, ABS-CBN is entitled to a franchise which is a, a totally separate and distinct issue from press freedom mm-hmm. um, I- i'll just go through this uh, this uh alleged findings and then you can just confirm it if it's true or not uh, in your legislative hearing did you discover about uh, the pay-per-view uh, being uh, yes. milked uh, on free air yes yes okay. uh, you know and they admitted no for example there was this uh, fight no uh, i think it was i believe it was the uh, pakyao uh, and mayweather mm-hmm, mm-hmm. fight they offered it on uh, on pay per view even if they still did not have uh, the the clearance and the permit to to uh, to uh, conduct this uh, pay per view mm-hmm. uh, asking for for payment yes. for the right to view uh, in under free air yes, yes. No? Uh, yes in fact in the ntc specifically issued a cease and desist order, order. Yes. No. yeah stopping them from offering that fight on pay-per-view mm-hmm. because they still did not have the permits and the rules and regulations had not yet been uh, fully uh, promulgated okay. no. we're, we're going we're but, going to but then during the hearing uh-huh. yeah during the hearing they admitted that they defied okay. the ntc cease and desist order okay. why because they said ah because you know people had already paid okay you know is that is that, uh, is that uh, a, a fair you know is that is that a valid uh, justification to defy uh-huh. to uh, violate uh, to violate the order to violate, <laughs> to violate the <laughs> yeah, law yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, you, uh, you can always you can always reimburse the, yes. the, the people congress or or uh-huh. offer it for free yes yes congressman we're mm-hmm. going to pause for a few reminders and then uh, we'll come back about abscb and having foreign shares about uh, donations that were misused, etc., yes. etc., et when, when Republica returns. Okay, uh, nagbabalik po ang ating programang uh, Republika. Balik na sa itong programang uh, Republika. Uh, kausa pa rin po natin, kahinabi gihap po nato, si uh, Deputy Speaker Pablo John uh, Garcia sa uh, 3rd District uh, Representative of uh, Cebu. So, Congressman, uh, kanilang, no? We will just go through it very quickly. It's just a question of just a yes <laughs> or no. About the ABS-CBN having foreign shares, uh, is that true? Yes. Uh, okay. our, <clears throat> the finding of the legislative committee was uh, uh, through the mechanism of uh, the so-called PDR, no? uh-huh. Philippine Depository Receipt. Yes. Uh, the uh, ABS-CBN uh, was able to entice foreign investors no? uh, to to invest in 
in ABS-CBN. Uh, and by doing so, uh, not merely invested, but gained some form of control mm -hmm. over uh, the shares mm -hmm. uh, representing uh, the underlying shares uh, of the, uh, the Philippine depository receipts. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. uh, they were issued, uh, they were uh, given nominees, they were uh, they could appoint. They could. They could appoint. Yeah, they could yeah. Uh, theoretically uh, uh, vote yeah. on the reorganization uh -huh. or non-reorganization of the. They could uh, influence the vote on the amendment of articles of incorporation, the corporation, and so under the constitution, you know, uh, this is clearly a violation because under the constitution for uh, mass media companies it should be one not only 100 percent owned uh it is it should be 100 percent controlled yes. by filipinos mm -hmm. so by giving up uh, some form of control, control uh, through the issuance of pdrs to foreign uh, entities no? uh, or or foreign persons uh, then they were giving up the 100 percent control uh, required under the constitution. Did, did you make a finding also on certain donations, Bantay Bayan, uh, Bantay Bata Foundation being diverted for for other causes which was not part of the ethos of the foundation? Did you also discover this? Well, uh, there was not enough evidence. Mm -hmm. No, but but what what was clear was that uh, um, eh, you know one of the the one of the uh, uh, propaganda uh, uh, uh. uh, ABS-CBN uh, uh, undertook during this whole affair was that uh, the the millions of pe uh, people that uh, they had helped during times of crisis. No, but uh, it was shown uh, that uh, these were really donations from the public. Uh -huh, no, uh -huh. these, were, uh, these were donations from the public. So that was the only finding under our, our technical working group. Um, there were other findings, no. Um, one of them being that uh, they also own. Uh, the, here we're talking now the family because people seem to forget. We're just focusing on ABS. This is actually owned by the Lopez family. That they also own Sky Sky Cable, CATV, uh, Destiny Cable, etc., etc. This brings me to my question yes. now. Uh, this is under under Article 16, which is talks about the general provisions. Of course, the the the, mm -hmm. the section one talks about uh, ownership and control, no, of uh, uh, media. But correct me if I'm wrong. In the second paragraph of the same section, and I will I will quote it for, so that you will be refreshed. Yes. Muragwa ni na hatagan kayo og emphasis. It says, the Congress shall regulate or prohibit monopolies in commercial mass media when the public interest requires no combinations in restraint of trade or unfair competition therein shall be allowed question congressman congress has not gotten into looking at this second paragraph vis-a-vis -vis, can a media giant a regular tv network own also a cable network or several cable networks in the country wala pa na ninyo nakitaan you know eric that's a brilliant point no? and, and that's a uh, that's a new point that uh, you know that would i admit that this this issue uh, was not fully taken up during the hearings uh -oh. uh, on the legislative franchise of abs even but i agree with uh -oh. you no? that uh, in principle no? uh, this is also one thing that should be looked at because uh, uh we know for a fact you know, even looking at the experience of other countries the us yes, for yes, example yes. Uh, there was a period where uh, these giant media companies were re were really broken up by by uh, gov uh, by the us government yes. no? precisely because no no person or entity should have uh, that much influence and control over mass media mm -hmm. because uh, we know for a fact that mass media is a very critical uh, you know uh, uh, instrument no? of uh, <laughs> of not only of, of uh, you know uh, propaganda uh -huh. no? uh, it, it could influence uh, the, the the views and the acts of, of the general purpose uh, populace uh -huh. so it is in the national interest no? it is in, in the national interest that no uh, 
single family or corporation or entity uh, sh uh, should have that much control over uh, the broad spectrum of the media, uh -huh. whether regular or cable or, or, or otherwise. As, as, a, as a broadcast uh, and media practitioner for almost two decades, Congressman, um, yes, I, I would like to say this, that uh, the function of media is not to be able to elect the next president. That, that, was, that, was, yes. that was never the, 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 the function yes. of, of yes. media, and God forbid it becomes. But this brings me to the point in terms of monopoly. What would be a monopoly? I, I'm, now I'm just throwing off ideas. Um, is it a combination of a TV network with a radio network? Is it a combination of TV network, radio network, and a cable network? What would be construed as a, a monopoly? TV network, radio network, cable network, plus owning newspapers because it can happen. So yes. uh, uh, maybe Congress can look into this so that it, this can be yes. broken up and uh, no one single family can control all these uh, media outlets. I agree, and I, I thank you for for that uh, for pointing that out, Eric. You know, I really it, it, that really that issue really slipped uh, the minds of of. Uh, of the congressman during these uh, hearings, but uh, that should be looked into. Uh -huh. uh, what constitutes, no? What constitutes uh, uh, control that is uh, dangerous yes. to the national interest? Yes, yes. No? Uh, what what measures uh, should we come up with in order to to make sure uh -huh. that uh, not no single network or no single uh, family corporation or entity uh, has that much uh, influence? Uh, on uh, the broad the spectrum of, of media uh, in in uh, in the country, that and and uh, I believe uh, in order to at least uh, not start from from scratch, uh, we should look at the um, example of uh, the U.S. Uh, media and uh, history any history of regulating and uh, uh, and breaking up monopolies in media. In in the U.S., if I'm not mistaken, they have affiliates of a big network yes but in every state uh, it cannot be just uh, one big giant network controlling the entire network but affiliates so these are actually basically different corporations that have subscribed to a, a major network maybe that's, that's yes. way down the yes. road yes i think i think they have the rule uh, that uh, they these affiliates should be uh, at arm's length yes. no? uh, that they're not uh, they're not uh, subsidiaries or uh, they are they are not uh, the creation of of uh, merely uh, a network mm -hmm. and, and we saw that actually during the hearing although it was not pointed out uh -huh. no, how how uh, for example uh, there was this uh, uh, other uh, legislative franchise uh, corporation which came out during the hearings no which is actually controlled yes. by ABS-CBN uh -huh. no? uh, and and uh, uh, it was it was a separate uh, franchise, mm -hmm. but in 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 fact, you know, by through a, a so-called uh, uh, block time agreement, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. which was practically uh, uh, one hundred percent of the broadcast hours, you know, they granted uh, a block time to ABS-CBN, mm -hmm. uh, and it used to be uh, uh, one half or fifty-one percent owned by ABS-CBN. This was practically another franchise of the ABS-CBN. So, so these are dangerous uh, uh, monopolistic behavior uh -huh. that that uh, Congress should look into. And I thank you, Eric, uh, for that. And I will certainly, uh -huh. uh, I will certainly uh, uh, be uh, uh, to initiate, uh, be the one to initiate uh, that uh, that discussion uh -huh. at least on on uh, how much control no, sh should we give and and what constitutes monopoly or uh, combinations yes, or restraints yes, uh, yes. in in the media uh, in the media industry two two two, two quick questions uh, congressman because we'll move to into the anti terror law um, is there a way uh, uh, by strengthening our democratic processes um, in trying to somehow uh, bring down the cost of advertisements during elections Yes, uh, yes. Considering that we're actually, if I'm not mistaken, um, radio companies, for example, can bring in their, uh, their equipments at, uh, at uh, 
you know very good uh, tax uh, how would I call it uh, deductions or uh, shelters for that matter in order to strengthen the radio industry uh, is there a way like a you know a quid pro quo where TV networks radio companies can import all the equipments they need uh, maybe what 5% interest maybe zero interest but in return when election time comes you know they cannot yeah. bring up their their cost because the whole purpose of media is to strengthen republicanism and the, the concept yes, of yes. democratic institutions in our country yes uh, well another uh, another brilliant uh, idea no? we congress has has always uh, grappled with this issue mm -hmm. no? because we know for a fact for the past uh, i would say eric the past uh, three uh, national elections no? we've seen the skyrocketing of the even five five past national elections yes. we've seen how the 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 cost of advertisement yes. no, has skyrocketed mm -hmm. no? used to be like 200,000 per per 30 second and now uh, you're hearing uh, almost uh, it's almost a million yes, no? yes. Uh, pesos for a 30 second there so so this is dangerous to uh, in in a democracy you no know, in a republican uh, uh, democratic uh, uh, society mm -hmm. because uh, if this goes on, uh, only the rich, yes. no? or only those, mm. only those with rich friends, yes. no? uh, uh, can be elected to the Senate yes, yes. No? or or, or uh, to the presidency or vice yes, presidency. Yes. No? So uh, crucial again. That's why uh, again, uh, as as we as we emphasized in the beginning of the discussion, no? uh, med mass media is is a matter of national interest. Mm -hmm. no? So there should be some mechanisms where uh, we could bring down the cost of uh, political uh, advertisements and 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 uh, expressions, mm -hmm. so that uh, you know uh, to level the playing yes, field yes. Uh, in 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 uh, in the in a political exercise mm -hmm. between the rich and and uh, the poor candidates. Uh, leaving the issue on ABS, your final word, sir, on as far as ABS to the employees, because this for them this is a very emotional issue. You know they're going to lose their jobs, etc., etc. Yes. Uh, you, the, know. you know the plate is, seems to be served to Congress uh, as, as 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 the whipping boy for this, but should they be made to understand um, that ABS? Um, and the Lopez's, I mean, where, 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 does, where does the flow uh, come in? Is it the Lopez's? Okay. Is it ABS-CBN? Is it Congress? And then, you know, should Congress be blamed for pe these people losing their jobs? You know, first of all, you know, the, we sympathize with, uh, mm -hmm. with the employees uh, and their families you know, for, uh, for the jobs that are lost mm -hmm. because of the non-renewal or the non-grant of the mm -hmm. uh, ABS-CBN franchise. You know. But... You know, this is an unfortunate consequence no, of uh, the acts of ABS-CBN. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, you know, you know for a fact that when you were granted your original franchise or the franchise before this, you were only granted 25 years. Okay. No? And you are not, you are not uh, entitled as a matter of right to a renewal. Okay. So, so if you, given that fact, then you should already have... Uh, uh, made made uh, preparations, no, uh, and uh, uh, you know, uh, to ensure that when your franchise expires, then your employees will have something uh, to receive, mm -hmm. no? uh, on, mm -hmm. no? or, or retirement. But in this case, you know, they're claiming uh, sometimes they're claiming eleven thousand, sometimes they're claiming uh, em employees. But how many of those? Uh, are, are regular employees. Is Congress now the convenient uh, excuse yes, uh, exactly. for what should have been we are, we are, for what should have been anti anticipatory uh, uh, plans for uh, ABS-CBN to take care of their employees for what is called as self-inflicted wounds? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> exactly. No, we we are we are the scapegoats yeah, yeah, now yeah. of 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 a corporation that first of all did not regularize. Their employees, mm -hmm. no. So, kay, kung gi regular pa nila ang mga empleyado, no. Na unta yung madawat, mm -hmm. no. Na retirement or separation yes, pay. Yes. But in this case, they were just contractual employees who are not entitled under our labor laws mm -hmm. to uh, separation pay or retirement. Mm -hmm. no? First, ikaduha, no. Uh, uh, 
you were given uh, a franchise for 25 mm -hmm. years no you were earning billions every year mm -hmm. because of that franchise mm -hmm. no nganong man ka makahimo og uh, why did you not uh, put up a structure no uh, uh, where uh, upon the expiration of your franchise no there should be a common fund mm -hmm. from which uh, uh, the the employees would draw their retirement right or their uh, separation pay right, right. or whatnot. Mm -hmm. no? This ABS-CBN did not do despite the billions in profits that they earned yeah. because of their franchise. Mm -hmm. Now we're being made the scapegoats mm -hmm. and the whipping boy yeah. because of this uh, neglect of ABS-CBN okay. uh, of their employees okay. and the interests of their employees. Uh, uh, th we'll leave ABS-CBN, Congressman, and uh, we're just again going to pause for uh, our final break. We'll go into anti-terrorism and then we'll look at the other slew of issues. And then eventually, uh, when we have time, we'll also look at the great bills that you have filed when Republica returns. Okay, nagbabalik pa ang Republica. Kausap pa rin po natin si uh, Deputy Speaker Pablo John uh, Garcia. At uh, kanina pinag-usapan natin yung uh, tungkol sa ABS-CBN. Binibisita lang natin. Tapos ngayon, titignan naman natin yung anti terrorism law. Uh, Congressman, there are about 30 petitions that uh, have been uh, mm. filed with the Supreme Court. There are 30 oppositors against uh, questioning the constitutionality of uh, uh, RA 11479. Um, your thoughts, uh, you, uh, you voted for it. Uh, yes, uh, being a lawyer, uh, you feel confident, strong enough that uh, this this law will stand the test of constitutionality as far as the Supreme Court is concerned. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, first of all, I, I voted uh, for the bill mm -hmm. uh, in, in the committee level mm -hmm. as well as, as uh, uh, on on third reading uh, for the House of Representatives. Um, you know the reason why uh, we needed to pass this this anti-terror bill is because you know our 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 terrorism bill is outdated. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, decades have passed since its passage, and during those decades, uh, during those years, uh, when when uh, after its its uh, passage, you know the the modes, uh, the tactics of terrorism have changed drastically. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. Changed drastically. That uh, our uh, law enforcement uh, agencies uh, uh, concerned with the uh, uh, battling terrorism. Are ill equipped, you know? and uh, that old law, without getting into a lot of uh, the details, you know? uh, in fact shackled uh, our our uh, anti-terrorism law enforcement uh, uh, agencies you know? uh, that they could not act against uh, uh, terrorism. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Recently, in the past few months, in the past year, we have seen acts of terrorism being being uh, uh, done in our in our country no uh, and i just felt we needed this uh, flexibility on the part of uh, law enforcement agents no uh, but if you look at it I, w the reason why i'm confident uh, eric mm -hmm. in, in despite the numerous petitions mm -hmm. no uh, a, a seeking its uh, uh, the, uh, the declaration of its unconstitutionality uh -huh. the supreme court the reason why is because if you read the the bill, even if it uh, grants a lot of flexibility to our uh, law enforcement agents to act against the terrorists and and terrorist uh, acts, uh, there are always safeguards. Okay. Uh, all these safeguards, no. Uh, there, in fact, there are more. Uh, I I would say uh, I would say forty percent of the provisions in the anti-terrorism bill. If you really look at mm -hmm. it and not just read. Uh, propaganda against mm -hmm. it, not just uh, look at memes uh, on Facebook yes. or, or on Twitter. Yes. Uh, if you really read the bill, you know, there, there are so many uh, re uh, remedies and reliefs uh, granted to, uh, to citizens uh -huh. uh, before the regular courts, uh -huh. no? uh, before the Court of Appeals, uh -huh. before the Commission on Human Rights. Uh -huh. no? At every stage of the uh, uh, prosecution against uh, terrorism that uh, there are uh, the the any ordinary citizen has all these remedies and reliefs available to them what, what do you say to you know uh, 
you know, what's on, on media, what's on the newspapers, what's on radio, uh, part of the petitions, and, and these are different groups. How do you answer them? For example, they say the definition is, so, is too broad, uh, which includes uh, death or serious bodily injury to any person, extensive damage and destruction to government facility, private property, critical infrastructure. Um, in short, uh, it may be abused uh, in fact, uh, th there is one group uh, uh, connected to the Human Rights, Human Rights Watch that says even a bar brawl might be misconstrued as uh, a terroristic act. How, how do you, you assuage these kinds of, uh, of thinking or, or posits? No, uh, you know, that's, that's an exaggeration and uh, uh, that's, that's a product of a misreading of the law uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, and a refusal to see yeah, that that definition uh, under that that section, Eric, I believe that section uh, three, mm -hmm, I think, mm -hmm. no? uh, defining the acts of terrorism. Yes, yes. No? It has these acts, overt acts, but it's, it is always qualified. Uh -huh. no? It is always qualified by the definition of terrorism. Uh -huh. no? uh, that all these acts should be done in furtherance. No terrorism, uh -huh. no? meaning uh, uh, in te with intention to cause widespread panic. Etc. Etc. Against uh, against the state. No? So uh, these these uh, single acts cannot be taken uh, in isolation mm -hmm. from the general uh, definition uh, and the qualifying uh, definition, which is uh, this should be intended to cause uh, you know widespread mm -hmm. panic. You know mm -hmm. the the classical definition of uh, terrorism, not only under our laws but under international. Uh, standards and law one of the always the the the, the, the uh, ticklish part of the issue is uh, on the point of uh, being detained for uh, a yes. total of 24 days uh, could this be a constitutional violation of the three-day rule so uh, how do you uh, answer that also well you know uh, even even this I, I i see this as um a necessary uh uh, power mm -hmm. on the part of our law enforcement mm -hmm. agencies because you know, uh, you know, you know how terrorism works. Mm -hmm, no? mm -hmm. uh, you, sh you have to act, uh, you know, if you read the history of terroristic acts around the world, no? your law enforcement agencies are, are given sometimes just a matter of days, mas mayo kung days, mm -hmm. no? sometimes a matter of hours mm -hmm. no? to act uh, to, to avert uh, widespread. Uh, uh, destruction mm -hmm. and, and and panic and terror. Mm -hmm. no? uh, so this is necessary. Uh, well, they have, they have questioned it. Uh, uh, its constitutionality. I am confident that this would pass constitutional scrutiny because mm -hmm. because precisely of the safeguards that are that are uh, granted under the same uh, law. You know, uh, let us also look at the at at the. Uh, um, uh, rules under. Other countries, no, uh, uh, their uh, anti-terror laws. Mm -hmm. no? uh, look at the United States anti-anti-terror uh, um, laws. Mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. uh, uh, and th they do grant, no? although with di under different periods, uh -huh. they do grant law enforcement agencies the right to detain uh, uh, before uh, uh, charges are are filed. Uh -huh. um, uh, uh, the way I see it, uh, Congressman, there are just two questions here for, for the general public. Is an anti-terror bill a necessity, necessary and essential for the Philippines given its historical background? And all they have to go do is look at August 21, 1983 when the first terroristic act was committed in Plaza Miranda. And it's still, and it's still <laughs> ongoing to this day. No? So that question yes. is really uh, already answered. It's just a question of modalities and uh, as to the approach. So. Again, uh, the, the third ticklish uh, question here is regarding the powers of the Anti-Terrorism Council. Uh, it has come out and you're aware of it. Uh, some people posit that they, they, they are actually a court within itself. Uh, they have supplanted uh, the powers and the authority of, of, of regular courts uh, in, in identifying or you know, having a, a suspected uh, terrorist arrested. Now, is that true? And no, uh, th that is a mischaracterization okay. no, of the Anti-Terrorism Council. No? Because, uh, you know, uh, uh, 
even the acts of the Anti-Terrorism Council are subject to judicial mm -hmm. review. No? They're subject to, to the review of the Court of Appeals mm -hmm. no? and ultimately to the Supreme mm -hmm. Court. No? But you need uh, an agency to act fast. Mm -hmm. no? Because uh, to act, this is, you know, this is not uh, uh, the, the powers of the uh, Anti-Terrorism Council are not different from, for example, let, let's not talk about terrorism, but uh, any crime mm -hmm, for that mm -hmm, matter. Mm -hmm. uh, any law enforcement agent has, within his, his, his discretion, no? uh, the, the right to see, to, to uh, determine whether, whether a, a law has, is being violated mm -hmm. and to act on that. Mm -hmm. Uh, on 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 his findings. Mm -hmm. no? This, is, in a broad sense, that is what the anti-terrorism council is is there for. Mm -hmm. no? But it is not a court in its unto itself, no, uh, because it is subject to judicial review by our regular courts. And this one at the level of the court of appeals. Yes. Uh, when you're you when yes. you're applying for, uh, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, warrants or uh, if you're going to do surveillance. Yes. Uh -huh. Even even uh, even uh, uh, to look into uh, you know anti money laundering, uh -huh. no even 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 uh, to look at whether uh, this is uh, terrorist financing, no, it is always uh, yeah. to in order to look into accounts, in order to freeze accounts, no, you always need uh, at the level of the court of appeals. No? An authorization. I, I will just uh, throw this to you, Congressman. And and that is very difficult. Uh -huh. No, that's in fact that's very difficult uh -huh. no? uh, to to get uh if it were a regular court and you get it from from a judge yeah. that might be easier uh -huh. but at the level of the court yes. of appeals you know uh that, that is a a very high bar no, that the government is up against this this reminds me of uh, and i'll just throw this in of what i wrote before in my column that maybe we should look at the the so-called fisa law in the united states which is the foreign intelligence exactly. Service Act. exactly and maybe we can get some some tips from there not only in terms of terrorism, but actual intelligence uh, and the uh, spying that is happening in the Philippines. And so at this level, it's if they yeah. even use the Supreme Court in order to, to survey. The surveillance is conducted on the internet, on your cell phone and everything. Yes. Yes, you know, I, uh, admittedly, I have not looked into that, Eric, but, uh, you know, I, <laughs> all I know is, is from, from, from uh, uh, TV series, oh, no? Yes, yes. <laughs> about, about this FISA court. Yes, yes. No? But, but, but uh, you know, uh, in the United States, you you know all these uh, all these uh, uh, opponents to the anti-terror bill would be surprised to see uh, how uh, I I would say uh, that their 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 laws you now against terrorism are more uh, are more liberal mm -hmm. in favor of the law enforcement agencies than this anti-terror bill which we. Uh, which we uh, passed. Okay, two questions very briefly on anti-terror before we move on. Uh, could the law have been better worded uh, with more precise uh, and, uh, you know, uh, legal definitions? What do you think? Well, you know, Eric, uh, uh, you know, no piece of legislation <laughs> is ever perfect. <laughs> yes, yes. No? Yeah, yeah. And, and that is why, uh, you know, and, and, you know, as you know, uh, you know, your 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 father was a yeah. legislator for a long time, no? a distinguished one mm -hmm. at that. You know how how uh, bills uh, yeah, yeah, are formulated, uh, yeah. are are prepared, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, and and uh, how compromises sometimes are in order to pass mm -hmm. a, a bill. Uh, certain compromises would have to be made, no, and that is why uh, that is uh, what uh, we have a bicameral Congress mm -hmm. then. Possibly, you know, uh, there is room, uh, you know, in and uh, this passed through through all of this. Mm -hmm. no? uh, I, I could it have been worded uh, better? Mm -hmm. Probably, mm -hmm. probably. Mm -hmm. But that is that is the best that the Congress uh, came up with, mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. and I'm confident that the the Supreme Court will sustain no, the validity of the anti-terror bill. In terms of approach, uh, Congressman. Um, again, this is just uh, part of brainstorming. Would it have been better uh, to actually go through the process of a um, legislative hearing, um, public hearing, for the purposes of establishing a legislative finding based upon the 
the uh, public hearing. For example, the query on whether the CPP NPA is a terrorist organization, whether the Abu Sayyaf is a, CP, is a, is a terrorist organization, whether the Jema Islamiyah is a terrorist organization, the ISIS, etc. Down the road, 20, 30 organizations. And based on that, make a legislative finding based from the public hearing that it is that these are terrorist organization and based from this legislative finding come out with a law that says if you are a member of the following organizations then you are a terrorist uh, i do not believe uh, that that, would have, that is possible uh, as, as a lawyer oh. I, I think that uh, yeah, because uh, under our constitution yes. there is a, there is a, yeah. a, a uh, prohibition against bills of yes, attainder. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, yeah. A bill of attainder uh, uh, would criminalize membership in an in a group or organization and not specific acts. Okay. No? So, uh, so uh, as 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 congressmen, no, uh -huh. uh, we are bound by the constitution not to criminalize groups or memberships uh -huh. in groups, uh -huh. no, but uh, to criminalize specific overt acts. Uh -huh. uh, uh, because uh, 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 to do otherwise uh, would be unconstitutional. It, it, you, you, you're saying, trying to say, Congressman, that the legislative finding cannot stand the scrutiny of the Constitution. Uh, what I'm saying is we cannot uh, uh, legislate that membership in the uh, or or these these uh, organizations. Uh -huh. no, I will not. I will not yeah, uh, yeah. mention them. Uh -huh. uh, uh, these organizations are terrorist, organi uh, terrorist organizations uh, and uh, members of, of these organizations are terrorists. No? Uh, we cannot do that. That would be unconstitutional. That would be a bill of attainder. I ask you that question because precisely that's, that's the, re the, the argument for it. It's a bill of attainder. But I'm just wondering how RA 1700, which is the anti-subversion law in the 1950s, subsisted, yes, up, subsisted yes. up, uh, up to what, 25, 30 years? So with, with yes, and, and it was... It was questioned a lot of times, uh -huh, no? yeah. uh, and, and it was it was sustained. Uh -huh. no? But uh, eventually, you know, eventually the uh, we uh, we had to drop that policy of you know that mere membership okay. is a is a, um, a subversive act. Uh -huh. So uh, we, you know th that is why uh, we had to come up with this. And then, uh, well, if somebody accuses them uh -huh, no? uh -huh. under this law, uh -huh. under this law, they could they could prove that they are not. No, uh -huh. uh, th uh, that they are not terroristic organizations. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll, we'll move now to the, the current issues. No? Th there's a talk about a revolutionary government. Uh, your take on it? Uh, how do you see this? Uh, what are the, 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 the tides moving, the political tides moving? And uh, your own perspective. You know, uh, first of all, you know, I, I, I am I am a lawyer, uh -huh. no? yes. uh, and uh, I yeah. I be, I swore I swore an oath as a, also I'm a legislator. I swore an oath uh, to uphold the the supremacy of the constitution, uh -huh. no, uh, and and the laws of the Republic of the Philippines. Uh -huh. So I cannot I cannot uh, I cannot subscribe to uh, any movement which would uh, uh, go outside of this. Uh, uh, the constitution and our system of laws uh, uh, to to form uh, some sort of government. No? So that is my that is my uh, personal stand on that. No? But uh, but it is important in any in any movement, for instance, mm -hmm. no? uh, whether whether this revolutionary government, whether the the communist uh, government, whether the separatist groups uh, in the south. No? Uh, while we do not subscribe to their uh, motives. Uh, and 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 their their methods. Uh, it is always important to look into the sentiment. No? Why why is there uh, such mm, a sentiment? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, and that would be uh, instructive to us, no? uh, to, who are working within the framework of the constitution uh -huh. and the uh, and the system of laws, uh, to uh, pro probably address these sentiments and concerns no? within the framework. Of the Constitution, uh -huh. a, a lawyer recently filed a petition with the Supreme Court requesting that uh, you know that the health of the president should be of public knowledge. Uh, uh, on these terms, uh, sh should the public have a, a gleaning of uh, what is the 
the current state of the president's health um, should such a petition of course it was denied but should uh, should this be given some uh, some some basis in order for the public to know what is the real condition uh, how, how do you see this how do you approach this yes uh, well as a matter of uh, uh, of uh, you know the transparency mm -hmm. uh, required uh, under our our uh, uh, democracy mm -hmm, no? mm -hmm. Of course, the public uh, the public is always uh, entitled to to information on on the health of uh, of uh, the president. Mm -hmm, no? mm -hmm. uh, but uh, uh, I would say uh, I think uh, the the president uh, through Malacanang is addressing this. Uh, in fact, uh, the, not only the president but the spokes spokesman mm -hmm. uh, you know, they have made uh, certain. Um, uh, uh, declarations as to the state of health of the president. Mm -hmm. uh, the president has never uh, hid the fact that uh, he has uh, a, a health condition. Okay. No? Mm -hmm. uh, he has never hidden this fact. And in fact, he has, he has spoken about it at length, no? uh -huh. not only during the campaign, but even uh, during his presidency. We I think that satisfies for me okay. right now, uh -huh. unless, unless, unless we go into constitutional uh, uh, you know there are constitutional mechanisms. Yes, yes, no? yes. Uh, yes, yeah. Oh. Um, Unless you know, it, you know, under the constitution, the cabinet can you know yes. uh, inquire into the into the health of the president, and pr in fact, the cabinet can declare the president as uh, incapacitated temporarily. Mm -hmm. No. Oh. We'll, we'll, then okay. We'll, we'll, yeah. We'll, then, then in in that case, that that would uh, require really. Uh, uh, an official, you know, uh, um, uh, finding as to the health of the president. We, we'll go over very briefly over some of your bills, uh, Congressman. You have here an, um, um, which was, uh, the title is an act convert, co converting the municipality of Balamban in the province of Cebu into a component city to be known yeah. as Balamban City. Uh, How is that going? Yes. Uh, well, it, it is. It is uh, with, in, in the committee level. It's moving in the committee level. No, we are just trying to because of this COVID yeah, yeah. nineteen. No, we are we are uh, uh, trying to get uh, uh, the certifications from uh, the uh, the uh, BLGF uh -huh. no, as to the income requirements. Uh, uh, besides that, uh, it's moving. Uh, okay. Uh, in the committee and level. then you have another one another bill which is uh, house bill zero one five seven five an act granting the province a share in the proceeds of real property taxes imposed by component cities amending section 271 of ra number 7163 otherwise known as the local government uh, code yes uh because under under the local government code i don't know but it's from by uh you know uh they om by omission mm -hmm, no mm -hmm. uh, uh Component cities uh, do not, uh, yes. while they're entitled to help from the provincial government, they're not they're not required to share part of the income. Mm -hmm. uh, municipalities, unlike the municipalities, so uh, I think it's a uh, it's it's only uh, fair that they are also made to share uh, some of the real property. Kani malipay ang kadaghanan na ni Congressman House Bill Number One Five Seven Eight, an act legalizing church annulment or dissolution of certain marriages and for other purposes. Yes, because uh, you know, uh, do you know? Uh, this has been uh, a, a proposal of long standing. Mm -hmm. no? Because, um, uh, like in the case of uh, Muslims, for instance, no, uh, under our Sharia law, mm -hmm. uh, the, the state recognizes the validity of their divorce, mm -hmm. no? uh, divorces. So uh, I think it is only uh, uh, only uh, fair. No? And it would grant relief to a lot of uh, of people who are who are separated mm -hmm. or, or who want to be uh, separated. No, uh, it would grant relief if we recognize church, uh, and we are not only referring to the Catholic mm -hmm. Church, no? but also to other uh, churches and sects. Mm -hmm. And we're surely going to not get any flock from the Catholic Church from this because they they annulled the marriage. No, because you know they annulled the marriage. <laughs> Yeah, we are we are in fact recognizing exactly. recognizing the validity of their uh, annulment. An another bill, uh, Congressman, is an act amending Republic Act Number One Zero One Twenty One by transferring the power to declare a state of calamity in a local government unit to the local chief executive. 
Yes, uh, it is a matter of practicality, no? Because I, I believe that uh, to to say whether we are in a, a state of calamity or not is an executive function. No? Uh. And second, you know, practicality. No? Uh, it, you'll have to convene a whole council no? uh, 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 in the midst of, uh, for example, in a, of a disaster. Mm -hmm. no? uh, uh, you'll have to convene the whole council for them to declare a uh, state of calamity. I think it would be easier if the mayor or, or the local government uh, chief executive uh, is given that power. One final question, okay, because you really have a lot, no? I, 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 we should maybe dedicate yeah. another <laughs> program for this. But the last one, which I'm sure a lot will affect a lot of people, is um, House Bill number 4246, an act further amending presidential decree number 449, otherwise known as the CAC Fighting Law of 1974, as amended and Presidential Decree Number 1802-A in order to rationalize and strengthen the regulation of cock fighting by local governments. <laughs> yes, uh, because, you know, this is born out of uh, a controversy, you know, uh, uh, last year, I think, uh, uh, where uh, <laughs> people didn't know, no? In fact, uh, in Mandawe, uh, in, a, in a regular cock fight uh, authorized by the local government unit, the police started uh, raiding and then uh, arresting people. Mm -hmm. So there was uh, there was a uh, um, uh, <laughs> quite a controversy. So I, I think I said let's rationalize all these rules. And now it's uh, moving because uh, in, in the committee level, uh, a technical working group has been uh, has been formed uh, to thresh out all these all these problems. So Usik uh, Mayor, uh, Congressman, dagang kayo ning no? Uh, you have a lot of uh, bills, an act abolishing the travel tax, sus. and then uh, yeah, yeah, these are really actually several pages. <laughs> but you know, maybe maybe some other time, time we can talk yes. about all of these. Next time, Eric. next time. Uh. So we'd like to thank uh, our very own uh, deputy uh, speaker, Congressman uh, Pablo Jan Garcia. Thank you very much, sir, for spending the hour with the uh, Republica. Godspeed. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you, Eric. Yeah, yeah. No, I should thank you because. Uh, uh, not only was I able to share my my views, mm -hmm. no, on a lot on a lot of issues. No, I learned a lot from you, and and uh, uh, particularly about media monopoly and uh, and and possibly uh, uh, play, uh, leveling the playing field yeah. uh, in in uh, political advertisements, uh -huh. no? which which are matters which I promise really to to pursue, mm -hmm. no, and to initiate discussion in Congress. Thank you very much, Eric, and. Uh, much luck to your to your uh, to your program yeah. republic and regards to nung pabling and to the family yes. to the entire garcia yes. family yes. Uh, godspeed uh, stay safe muna gitawag uh, ampo amping alisto so dagan salamat and uh, with that uh, diyan po nagtawawakas ang ating programang republika ito po si Eric Espina palaging nagsasabi magmasid makialam higit sa lahat ay manindigan dahil wala pong magmamahal sa pilipino kung hindi ang pilipino dagan salamat maayong gabi kaninyong tanan